The United Nations Security Council has approved a resolution that aims to establish humanitarian pauses between Israel and Hamas, increase aid to Gaza, and create conditions for a sustainable end to the fighting. The resolution calls for urgent and extended humanitarian pauses and corridors throughout the Gaza Strip to allow for full, rapid, safe, and unhindered humanitarian access. The United States and Russia abstained from the vote, choosing not to use their vetoes as permanent members of the Security Council. U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield praised the resolution but abstained from voting in favor of it because it did not include a condemnation of Hamas. The U.S. had hoped for a condemnation of Hamas and wanted the Council to explain how the conflict had escalated. However, the U.S. recognized that diplomacy involves compromises. The U.S. was eager not to vote against the resolution after facing criticism for vetoing a previous Security Council resolution that called for an immediate ceasefire. The language of the current resolution calls for urgent steps to lay the groundwork for a sustainable cessation of hostilities. The U.S. believed that creating conditions for a sustainable end to the fighting was crucial and that the timing of a ceasefire should be determined by the right conditions. One major point of contention in the negotiations was the proposal to establish a U.N. monitoring mechanism in the Gaza Strip. The U.S. argued that this would be impractical and would slow down the delivery of aid. The U.S. believed that the existing mechanisms for aid flow were sufficient and that adding a new mechanism would create chaos. The resolution was drafted by the United Arab Emirates, and diplomats worked behind closed doors to finalize it. The initial draft called for an urgent cessation of hostilities, but the U.S. countered with a more passive formulation. Israel was aware of and could live with the language in the resolution. Russia proposed an amendment to change the language back to an immediate cessation of hostilities, but it was vetoed by the U.S. An Israeli official responded to the vote by expressing gratitude for the U.S.'s efforts to address problematic elements in the resolution. However, the official also stated that the resolution was unnecessary and highlighted the UN's failure to condemn a massacre that occurred in October. U.S. Ambassador Thomas Greenfield announced that the U.S. would support the resolution after previously voting to delay a vote on it. However, she ultimately abstained from the vote instead of actively voting in favor. The U.S. believed that the resolution deplored all acts of terrorism, indirectly referring to Hamas's responsibility. The Biden administration has become more vocal in expressing concerns about the severity of the conflict in Gaza. The U.S. has previously vetoed measures at the Security Council and voted against a ceasefire in the General Assembly. Last week, the General Assembly voted to demand an immediate ceasefire, which was seen as a rebuke to the U.S. However, the General Assembly vote is non-binding, unlike a Security Council resolution. The U.S. recognized that compromises are necessary in diplomacy, and while there were aspects of the resolution that could have been stronger, the U.S. believed it was a step in the right direction.